Mike. We're out here on the exterior wall here, and I see something different than I normally see in houses. Most houses I see tie back, real thin stuff, and it's kind of floppy. This stuff is pretty heavy duty, hardcore. Tell us a little about this blue board. You are correct, Dean. This is a special rigid foam board that we get from Dow. It's a half inch of insulation value that you get around the whole entire house. So. Unlike just the Tyvek product, which is just paper, which gives you no R value, this gives you that continuous R value of three around the whole entire house. Mike, I know a little bit about R value, but you know, tell the people at home what R value means. Yeah, real simply, R value is the heat resistance um, you know, through this wall cavity. So the higher the R value, uh, the more energy efficient this wall cavity will be. This has an R value of three, this half inch piece of rigid foam that we've got around the whole house, giving that continuous uh, air barrier. And unlike Tyvek, which has no R value to it at all, this is giving you that extra R value of three for this wall cavity. Just so people know, show us, I mean, what is this heavy duty tape and this stuff right here? What is this doing for? Well, again, it's, since it's acting as the weather resistant barrier for the home, you have to tape up all the seams. You have to flash all your windows properly. Great job out here, Mike. Let's go in. Thanks. All right, Mike, we came from outside, talked about the exterior. Now this framing package, I noticed this house was like, it's two by six walls instead of two by four walls. Correct, again, maximizing your R value in your walls and their space 24 inch in the center. So we have a whole lot more R value in these walls than a traditional uh, two by four framed house. Again, you can see we've used the spray foam pack, which has given us that ultimate uh, air barrier on this house. When I do our heat loss, heat gains, we figure this in as a tight house and we size our unit accordingly. Now, if this would have been standard insulation, I know for a fact it would have probably took another ton and a half, maybe two tons more of air conditioning. Is that not the case? That is correct. By lowering the tonnage, we lower what? Your electrical engineer. Yep, you're gonna lower your electric bill. You're gonna lower that electric bill. So, we've got a Yeti cooler here versus a Igloo cooler. Ice goes to $10 a bag. What do you want? You want the Yeti cooler. You want the Yeti cooler, baby. Now. I see that you got some unique framing here. Is this a two by six? What's, what's behind this? Is that all foam? Yeah, in a traditional framed home, you'd typically have a, a kind of a studded pocket back here where you wouldn't get insulation. But with the new framing techniques now, we're able to put horizontal members in here. Now, with the blue board outside and the uh, two by six foam wall, we've stopped almost all infiltration, all moisture. Now, I want to give you guys a little something to think about. If you're living in a home that's 15, 20 years old that doesn't have foam, if you will go look around your door jams, if you will go look around your little electrical boxes, you'll notice little brown stuff. That's infiltration from outside. And that's where outside air is filtering in your house. So not only are you heating people in your house, but you're heating the whole world.